Hi folks, Eagles beat reporter Mike K here from NJ Advanced Media, and this is your latest update from the No Huddle Show podcast. The Eagles are preparing for the annual NFL scouting combine that will take place throughout next week in Indianapolis. General Manager Howie Roseman and head coach Doug Peterson will address the media for the first time since firing offensive coordinator Mike Rowe in January. The duo is scheduled to speak on Tuesday afternoon. The Eagles released linebacker Nigel Bradham on Wednesday. The move came just one day after the team decided to decline his 2020 team option. The move will save the Eagles roughly $4.5 million in cap space and leave $5.3 million in dead money. Releasing Bradham gives him a jump start on the free agent market. The move is a nice gesture by the Eagles, who could have waited, and he would have then become a free agent in March. Bradham had an up-and-down tenure in Philadelphia. His heroics during the 2017 Super Bowl run offered the highest of highs, but the past two seasons have been marred by injury and inconsistent play. Set to turn 31 this season, Bradham should still receive plenty of interest on the open market. Releasing Bradham won't impact the compensatory pick formula for the Eagles as team options will not count toward the formula in 2020. Following Nigel Bradham's release, the Eagles are expected to have $44.8 million in cap space entering free agency. With over a dozen in-house free agents and several clear holes to fill, the Eagles are expected to have a spending spree in March. So far this offseason, the Eagles have been connected to cornerbacks Chris Harris and Byron Jones. The team is also expected to be active in the wide receiver market as well. For all of the latest Eagles news, turn to the sports section of NJ.com and download the No Huddle Show podcast wherever podcasts are available.